welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today and happy start of the month of March. I have all of my winter sewing projects here to show you guys what I've made over the last couple of months. I've made some projects that I was really excited about and a few things that were very different to anything that I've tried in the past. So that was a lot of fun and I'm really pleased with the roundup of the different projects I've worked on over the past couple of months. So let me go ahead and show you what I made over January and February. So I'm going to start with my most recent sewing project. And just as a side note, I will have a playlist linked below that is all of my winter sewing projects. If you want to go back and look for any specific videos, I always put all of my videos into a playlist for the specific season. So if you're interested in that, that will be down below. But this first piece is my most recent project. This is a dress that I made from this beautiful cotton linen rifle paper company fabric that they sent over to me from their latest collection. And I love this print so much. I think it is such a beautiful color scheme. It's this coral and dusty blue and burgundy, and it's really unique to anything else that I have seen. So I absolutely love the print and I'm really pleased with how this dress came out. I made this from one of the newest McCall's patterns from their spring line. And I love the puffy sleeves and the sweetheart neckline as well as the covered buttons down the front. So this is definitely one of my favorite makes of the past couple of months. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Now I do have a knitting project to share and don't worry, I will take this off the hanger as soon as I'm done shooting this video. I just needed it to be easily accessible so I hung it up, um, but I don't usually hang up my knitwear. So this is the September sweater pattern by Petite Knit and I started this right after Christmas with some beautiful yarn that my sister had given me as a Christmas gift and I'm so happy with how this one turned out. And I shared a little bit of this project in my project update vlog a few weeks ago when it was snowing and it was such a wonderful time to be doing some knitting but I really enjoyed making this pattern. It's done in the brioche stitch and while my stitching is definitely not perfect throughout the whole thing, I love the finished product and I think this sweater is one that I will wear forever because it's just a really classic versatile piece. Then up next is this velvet sheared shirt and I really love this one. I haven't worn it that much just because it is a little bit over the top, I guess, but I really love the fabric. It is so soft and beautiful. So this is made with my sheared top tutorial that I made last summer, but I changed out the sleeve pattern for the sleeves from a McCall's dress pattern. I will have all of the pattern information linked down below in case you're curious, but I love how this top turned out and I think the long sleeves are so pretty with the velvet fabric. And then keeping on with the velvet, I have this velvet midi skirt that I made from some pre-pleated velvet that I got from Mood Fabrics. It has an elastic waistband and this was a really quick and easy project to put together. So definitely a fun one. And I do have a tutorial on this one if you would like to make it for yourself. But the pre-pleated fabric was really fun to work with. I would like to try some of their satin and chiffon that they have as well because I have a few ready to wear skirts that are from similar fabrics. So I think it would be fun to work with, but I really love this one. Now these next two pieces are probably the most unique to all of the others from what I made this month, but this was so much fun. I made a lounge set or sweatsuit from some French terry fabric and matching ribbing. So here is the sweatshirt. This is the Megan Nielsen Jara sweater pattern and I really enjoyed making this one. I've already worn this so much and I think I will definitely be making it in more colors. And then I also made a matching pair of joggers from the Seamwork Mel pattern and this was really fun to make as well. But I'm really glad that I went into experimenting a little bit with knitwear and loungewear over the past couple of months because I think this will be really useful. Definitely something that I would enjoy making more of in the future. And then the last two pieces are the pajama set that I made this month. This is from the Closet Core Patterns Carolyn Pajama Pattern. So it is a classic button-up pajama shirt with piping and I made it out of this beautiful um, Rifle Paper Company blue floral print which I absolutely love. I was kind of sad to make it into pajamas instead of actually like a blouse or something because I think it would be really pretty in that as well but I do love it as pajamas. And then the matching pajama bottom are just classic pajama pants with um, side pockets and then they also have piping on the cuffs. So this was a really fun project. I have made this pattern before in the past. I made a set of these for one of my friends one time and I've also made them for myself but I still feel like the details on the pajama shirt are a little bit of a struggle for me so I enjoyed kind of practicing that again and I want to make it one more time. I'm thinking about making another set with the short sleeve version and the shorts in gingham for the summer. I think 
that would be super cute. So that is something on my radar. All right, guys, so those are all of my sewing projects from January and February, as well as the knitting project. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing these. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you have a favorite among these, I think for me, it's probably either the Rifle Paper Company dress or the knitted sweater, but it's really hard to choose. Um, so I really enjoyed making all of these projects and videos over the past few months, and I'm really excited to get into some spring sewing projects. I've got a bunch of fabric that has come in the mail lately, so I'm excited to share that with you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out on my channel today. If you are new around here and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you subscribe by clicking the red button down below to stay tuned for future videos. And if you enjoyed this video and wanted to leave it a like, or you wanted to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, I would really appreciate it. All of that will be linked down below. But thank you guys again so much for watching and hanging out on my channel today, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!